I'm dying of hunger, like, in the first day of survival. Are you kidding me? This is a success. Oh man, look at that. Somebody's pretty dead here. Are you hiding? Why are you hiding over there, man? I've won this game already. Hello guys and welcome to the 1.19 Vintage Story Survival Series. We are playing as a tailor because I just like this guy, because he has a fancy mask and also because he can craft custom armor. Okay, so we've got 9 days until the first temporal storm and we gotta make things pretty quickly. So the first day is kinda always an adventure, we have some berries in our hand now, we have some heat blocks here which we could use as a fuel to cook some things. We also have a bunch of kettles right here which we can gather but I don't seem to find any stones. Okay, loose flints, that's exactly what I need. How about we start straight with the knife? Alright, so we get our first knife, how about we collect some sticks? There you go. Now we can finally make some baskets and expand our inventory, but for that we need a couple of kettles. And I already see the black bear that's standing up there. I should be really careful not to mess around with that guy. Let's just collect a bunch of kettles for a few baskets, because I'll need a lot of inventory space for the first days of survival and it's better to have that ready. With the new map, I'm not really sure how I can find a trader here because he kinda blends in with the whole uh, topography thing, but hopefully we can stumble upon it somewhere. Um, I could guess that this could be it. Oh shit. Oh no. Run, 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 run. Let's go. I mean, the first day and the bear's already attacking me. Come on, while I was looking for that stupid trader, just run for your life, man. It seems like we're safe now, but I don't feel really safe because I don't see that guy. I hope he's over there, over that mountain. Let's just be cautious, okay? The new animations look pretty fun. He's just chopping down on those scales like crazy, man. Slashing through the whole screen with that hand, but... Okay, so we've got 40 kettles now. Let's just cook our basket real quick. This is already feeling much better. 12 moss slots, which is pretty cool. Okay, so... What do we have here? It looks like those are some cracked stones, but I thought it could be some ore. No, it's just cracked granite. We're not ready to go down there yet, so maybe we can just craft a torch to be ready for the night, because when that comes quickly and we're not ready, we're pretty much dead. There comes the torch, and here comes the fire starter. Let's light that thing up and and let's not hold it in our offhand, because if we do, it's gonna affect my hunger rate, and I have only like four berries now. I would be happy to find some more, but I don't have them. And I also do have some fish here, so maybe I could catch them. But actually, I just need to find the trader, because I need to find the shelter for the night, and building one is probably not the best thing to get started. Okay, there he is, I can see the trader over there. And here are some ruins that we could probably check, but I don't see any. Okay, correct vessel ore, let's check what's here. Wow, quartz chunk, and that's it? Come on, man. That's definitely not something we need, and I don't even want to clutter the inventory with that crap. Let's just check that trader, he looks pretty big, he looks like he's got the main carriage and also the small cart. That kind of gives me hope that he has plenty of space that we could use. What is that? Okay, it's a wolf here. But I found some clay, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, you don't really you don't really see the clay on the map now. There was one way to find it, but okay, I could just stumble upon it like that. It looks like he has some barrel here, which we could use probably. Or we could just build one ourselves. Now what's, what's in here? Vassal. And some basket. That's already pretty good. Now, what does he have inside? And what even what's that guy? So he's a furniture trader. He has a pretty uh, nasty bed because that's the most basic one you can get. Also, these storage vessels are all closed, so not much here. But he's got a couple of baskets. We could probably call it a home. Oh, now you can see what the trader looks. Well, it's kind of horrible, but okay, that gives me a hint of how we could find one. So let's just mark that on our map here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm searching for here. I just need to find some copper nuggets so we can 
get to our copper age. But I found some mature pink apple tree. Let's go. I mean, that that's pretty cool. It's close to our base, so we don't need to move that around. So here comes another ruin. What do we have here? Farming. Okay, too bad that I've already cra crafted a basket for myself, but we could probably leave it here. And I have six feathers, which I could probably use to make some arrows or something. As we can see, better ruins are all around us. But the loot didn't get any better, it seems. It's just visually better, okay? Oh man, look at that. Somebody's pretty dead here. Carcass, humanoid. Okay, that seems to be a nice touch of realism here. Double check what we have in that. Okay, that was convenient. Hopefully I gather all of that stuff. Now we can see some blocks having weird metal filters. Uh, hopefully that's gonna be fixed soon. I don't seem to be able to get those carcasses. Maybe I could look some temporal gears or just rusty gears. That would be cool. I don't know if we should be going that forest. It looks promising though, but and it also looks pretty fancy. Just gotta be careful not to stumble upon any bears because then I'm pretty much dead. I would actually leave here, that looks a pretty like a pretty good spot. Yeah, so the first day looks like a fun adventure, we kinda uh, explored here and there, just found a bunch of cool stuff that we could use, so a bunch of fruit trees, some clay deposits, also some pits, finally the trader's house, and now we can actually get together in those clay spots and also uh, craft in our first forms that we could probably use for something better. But I also need to find some copper bits, which I don't seem to be able to find at all. Anyway, so it's getting dark already, so I should probably go to bed. We don't seem to be super productive that first day, but... Okay, red wine cap, let's see if it's edible actually. Yeah, it seems fine. We could use that. They should grow back sometime later, since they are edible. I don't know, what color would you... All those mushrooms, like red mushrooms, they don't seem too promising, but let's eat that. Anyway, so I think we should go back to our base and probably fall asleep right now. Or maybe just be a little more safe and craft a bunch of fucking hell. Why me? There was a chicken, you could attack that. Oh man, I'm not feeling safe here. <laughs> well, how did I wake up at 2 a.m., bro? I mean, it should have been at least three, but whatever. Now this day we should make a little more productive and probably get our first tools. So maybe we should start with a shovel. Now that seems annoying. He is kind of blocking half of the way with his hands and also that torch, but that's fine. So let's make an axe as well, because I'll need a bunch of trees to get my firewood. When the sun rises, we can actually go and get some wood because Right now, I wouldn't want to go to the forest. And just like that, we've got some clay ready. Now it's gonna take me some time to turn that into forms, but I think we could start right now. The first thing I need is probably a cooking pot, because collecting berries is fun and all, but I mean, I should probably cook some decent meals, okay? Now let's duplicate that layer to make things faster and easier. We could also make a bunch of bowls for ourselves. Now we could also move on to, we need a raw crucible, that's for sure. Alright, so here comes our hammer mold, now let's make another one, which is for the pickaxe. We could probably also toss in a couple of ingot forms. I'm almost dying already, goddammit. So that's probably the last form that I'm making, and, and then I should set off to find some food. Okay, now that anvil mold took me a while. I'm dying of hunger, like, in the first day of survival. Are you kidding me? And that's lifesaver. Let's just grab a bunch of rye to just <laughs> stop the process of decaying, man. So, there we go, the first current bushes. Oh, it seems like some raccoon dropped a bunch of them as well. That's nice. Black seeds, we're definitely taking those. And here comes the first native copper bit. Let's go. And it's only one here. Okay, no. Actually two. Let's just remember that place as well. So it's gonna be copper. We shall get back here when we gather 40 bits. But for now, we've gathered only four. I already need to start making the charcoal pit. 
I could probably get down this oak, but I would need that for the barrels, so I should probably stick to that maple tree instead, because that's of no use for anything else rather than making firewood, and the texture is kinda ugly as well. I think I need 5 stacks of these blocks, so that I can actually make my charcoal pit. Now there you go, we have 5 stacks of wood, I think this is quite enough. Can I at least once spawn in a sunny, chilly place and not in a soaking wet, raining fucking rainforest or something? We could probably take a bunch of them as well, because we can. That could be a fine alternative to our firewood. Okay, here comes the first ugly portal, we are not going in there because we don't want the temporal storm to start right now. This actually looks neat, we could probably turn that into a charcoal pit, why not? Now hopefully I don't need to craft any more axes, but... Now here comes the first charcoal pit, I think this is a success. Took us a whole two days, man. This is embarrassing, bro. But anyway, let's get that covered. Now also, we need some grass to build the campfire here. Let's drop a few more firewood to make it look like a campfire. Now here comes the charcoal pit, which is unlit, so let's light it up and cover that on top. And now all we have to do is just make a bunch of spots to cook these bad boys as well. So I should probably clean that up. Let's dig a bunch of holes here. Maybe we should start with these bad boys, dropping a few of them here. Now that mold definitely comes in one of the pits. Here comes the anvil mold as well. Now a bunch of stupid... I'm actually... I'm not sure if I need to cook all of them right now. Okay, now that, that seems promising, okay? Let's just fill all these pit kilns with grass. And now let's find a bunch of sticks to get that cooking as well. Okay, 40 sticks. Is it gonna be enough? Or should I probably get some more? I don't really know. Maybe, maybe a bit more. So we have 12 copper now, a bit of flax grain, stupid bears that are gonna eat my... Oh no, and some wolves that are already attacking, and a, another bear, god damn it, no, no, please, can I not be dead right now? Okay, none of them is chasing me, I should eat that little bit of grain, just keep me going without dying. And how about I find something to eat? Okay, finally some bear bushes, let's go. Okay, some horse tail. That should keep me alive for some time. And I should really go back to finish up those, those pit kilns and, until it's too late, because if it's too dark, I'm gonna be having problems with drifters. At least it's not raining here. Well, at least not super heavily. Are you kidding me? It's right here. Come on, right on top of the freaking... Do you really have to spawn here? Finally, the pit kilns are set up. Now let's just set them... What? Wait, what the hell? Just two stupid idiots came out of nowhere. Get that fire, you stupid. Can I light that guy up? Is he gonna burn or something? Okay, it seems like they are fighting with each other, so that's my chance to finally have that going. Let's go, and hopefully they don't get me while I'm lighting all that thing up. So this is late, this is unlit. Okay, and the final one. Cool, now all of them are lit now. Let's just get down this one, last guy. Come on, die already, goddammit surface drifter okay he's dead how about a temporal gear that would be neat no no temporal gears for me so i have a few more robles left but we don't need them for now yeah let's skip that night these berries are pretty far away from my house so i should probably start collecting them and maybe place them a little closer turnip seeds and that's cool and a bunch of more turnips we could also cook them as well Another trader's carriage. Let's see if that guy is a treasure hunter, because if he is, then that's good news. We can actually buy a pickaxe someday. Are you hiding? Why are you hiding over there, man? Yeah, hello. So you're a closing trader. 
That's not good news for me, but at least you've got a bunch of chests, and I wonder where are you sleeping? So on that chair or something? Bro, now that looks like it could be a desert or something. I'm not sure, but if it is, then that's probably good news, and we should... Oh no, god damn it. Anyway, my torch just went off. Look, what what is this? Is it, isn't it bauxite sand? Because if it is, that's crazy good news. I mean, if we can find the bauxite that quickly, that's like, I've won this game already. Because it usually takes a shitload of time to find it. I mean, is it really bauxite? Man, let's go. Is it bauxite? It's bauxite rocks. Yay. I still have plenty of time to find that copper. I just need like 24 bits or something. That's not too much. Okay, there it comes more lead. We shall definitely remember that as well. I'm really happy with all these lead deposits because I really need that when we get to building our house because I can easily make the glass panels and that will be kind of fun. And now there you go, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all those copper bits here. 25, that's what we got. But how about we get 15 more and we can finally get to our tools, god damn it. Now that was a pretty fruitful desert, I would say. Now we also have some fancy ruins here. I don't know what's down there, but we could probably use the ancient stairs or something for our decorations when we build our house. Now once we get those tools, this is our spot. This is where we are going, okay? It's gonna be pretty horrible digging that uh, ore here because it always is. Native silver bits? Are you kidding me? I didn't know you could find silver just like that. Also, this forest looks really promising because look at all this lichen resin. Uh, we should definitely explore that desert further because there is a ton of lead and I assume there could be a ton of tin as well. Okay, I think that's pretty good enough. Let's not get too greedy because I feel like we could be dead here really quickly. But oh man, look at that copper. Let's, let's get a little bit more greedy, okay. And yeah, of course, everything is raining here, god damn it. So, the charcoal is definitely ready, but the built kilns are still cooking. Should I maybe dig some real basic cave or something? Because I really need to place my stuff in here. Don't want to go too crazy on that. This is a really ugly cave. How do you actually make a basic door? I keep forgetting that stuff. You'll need a bunch of sticks and and a bunch of logs and there you add your axe and this is how you craft your door now that's looking fancy check out this crazy house man okay i'll drop these bad boys in here so that we can cook them later also grabbing all of these molds the molds go here now these bad boys should probably go there now the anvil, finally let's build a quick campfire. Let's drop our crucible in here because while it's getting hot and everything, uh, we shall get some charcoal because this is what we need to smelt the copper. And the last thing that I actually forgot to make is the tongs, which we're gonna need to hold hot crucibles and also the ingots, so I'll need a bunch of kettles to make the rope, poultices as well, now that's cool. Yeah, the rope is ready, we could now make the tons. Oh yeah, and the berry bushes, I forgot to place them as well, uh, so maybe we could just drop them here just randomly, it's all getting nice and hot. And there we go, our crucible with molten copper is now ready, so let's pour that thing in our pickaxe mold. Now, as you can see, there is no animation for that. Finally, let's also fill in these ingot molds, and I don't know if you need if we need them right now, because first we need that anvil, but that will do it. Let's just make three portions with mashed turnips. Hopefully that's gonna be tasty, and we can go to sleep now. Uh, so here come the tools. Can you please grab them? Come on, man. What's wrong with you? It would be nice if I could pick them up or something. But yeah, I can actually just break it. 
So that seems to be a bug on the pre-release version. Whatever. We can still break those. Here comes the copper pickaxe. And the copper hammer. And the, the ingots. Oh, at least we can grab those. So we'll place them here for now. But we'll definitely get them later. So uh, that there is a pot of cooked food and here is our bowl. So yeah, let's just get rid of this uh, stuff that we don't need and we can pretty much go to get even more coppers. Alright guys, so this was the first episode of the 1.19 Vintage Story Survival. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll catch you in the next one.